is the SEC covering up Wall Street crimes? Let's check it out. Imagine in a world which a man who was repeatedly investigated for a string of serious crimes but never prosecuted he has his slate wiped clean every time the cops fail to make a case. No more Lifetime Channel specials where the murder is unveiled after police stumble upon past intrigues in an old file. That is now how appears how the SEC, the Securities and Exchange Commission, has been treating the Wall Street criminals who cratered the global economy a few years back. For the past two decades, according to whistleblower at the SEC who recently came forward to Congress, the agency has been systematically destroying records of its preliminary investigations once they are closed. By whitewashing the files of some of the nation's worst financial criminals, the SEC has kept an entire generation of federal investigators in the dark about past inquiries into insider trading, fraud, market manipulation against companies like Goldman Sachs, Deutsche Bank, AMG, and others. With a few strokes of a keyboard, the evidence gathered during thousands of investigations, 18,000 including Madoff, as one high-ranking SEC official put it, during a panic meeting about the destruction, has apparently disappeared forever into a wormhole of history. You gotta love and trust this corrupt system you have at Gary Gensler. AMC is 100% utilization and hard to borrow, but yet, the manipulation continues, naked and counterfeit predatory, shorting is illegal. What's going to happen when this blows? And it is going to blow. AMC Ape not leaving. Are SHFs winning? Okay, so let's stick it to what we know, not financial advice. Number one, ask yourself the question, how much money are SHFs losing every day, month, year, or since we started buying the stock we like? A lot, right? Billions. How? Having to sell stuff to pay brokers interest on the shorts they borrow. Number two, telling us to sell. Why? Do they really care about us? Like they did in 2008 when they crashed the economy, they are telling us to sell because they want to close their positions before we moon. And number three, I'm just a SB. But if they are losing so much money and calling us names trying to intimidate us into selling, even making us out as the bad guys, no, they are not winning. They are desperate to remember the Cohen and Barry said victory. Google it, guys.